Man, this Adrian Broner, just Justin Vargas, man. This is a, this this fight. This fight. I take. I'm gonna tell you what I take away from this Adrian Broner versus Justin Justin Vargas. And it's like one one thing in life, man. That you you can have a lot of bad habits. You can do a lot of shit wrong. Do a lot of. It's like you can, but one thing you you can't afford to have as a as a as a as a um as a person is you can't be lazy. You have to have. You have to become. You have to be disciplined, man. And Broner could have been special, man. Broner missed his opportunity. Look at this fight. This this fight tells me a whole lot. This fight tells me a whole lot. Look, Brony could have been special, man. Look at this shit, man. Look when this kid let his hands go. Look how this kid is crazy, man. Brony could have been special. He got Earl. He got Earl excited, man. This motherfucker, Brony is. It is could have could have been a best. He could have. He could have surpassed Mayweather, man. That's why I. That's why I shout out. That's why I, I get me with his props. Because he stayed disciplined and got the best out of his potential. And he knew that fucking up, he wasn't going to become the best by fucking up. And that's what kept him disciplined. You have to have the ability to do shit. To work when you don't want to work. Work when you're tired. When when the next man is sleeping, you got to be working. If you want, you want 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 the things, you got to be working. When the man is working, you got to be working. When a man home fucking, you got to be working. When the man working, you got to be working. When the man sleep, you got to be working. You got to be able and willing to do what the average man won't do to be special. And I believe Brona did the bare minimum or, or less than minimum. He didn't do the, his best. Look at this motherfucker, man. This motherfucker walking down Jesse Vargas, man. And Jesse walk, walk, Vargas is not no walk in the park. And he's not at his full potential. If this kid was to get, would have been serious his whole career, yo, it is no telling how far he could have went. That's what I see with this fight right here. There's no telling how far he could have went. His defense could have been a lot better. He could have worked off the pivot more. He could have been working off the pivot. And I mean by pivot is he could have been keeping, he could have been coming in, getting a lot of better shots, keeping people on an angle. When people got to constantly keep readjusting. To line up with you, you constantly keep switching the center line, keep changing, and throwing, you let your hands go, switching back, trying to catch him off balance, using his using his lead using his lead hand to cr- create confusion with the opponents. He don't do it enough. He could be correct with it, as fast as his hands is. He could have been using. He could have been. He could have stayed in and out of range. He could have been using. He could have been using more angles. And with his fast hands, he could have been he, he could have been fucking people up with with with, with um, more basic fundamentals off like moving off like turning off his jab when he jab when he jab move line a person up getting a lot of free shots on people. He's not really he wasn't really using his he really wasn't in there practicing and, and picking up on a lot of lot, lot of um lot of different characteristics. That he could have been picking up on, he could have been almost impossible to beat. Look at those hands, yo! This nigga crazy, yo! Look at him. With my fucker, what's um Shannon Briggs? Look at him! Look at him! Look at him, Chad! Let's go, Chad! Look, man, this nigga could have been crazy, man. He fucked up. 
And he may still have those talents. I believe Brony can go down to 135 and get another title. And go to 140 and collect another belt if he just gets serious. You gotta get you gotta be serious. You got to be serious when it comes to that bread. And you got to be serious when it comes to that bread. You you don't get this many opportunities in life, man. You got to take advantage of your opportunities. Cause you once cause once your turn over, it's, it's, it's your turn is over. It's the next fresh, next best thing is coming up to take your spot. And that's in anything in life. That's in nursing. That's in being a doctor, being a lawyer, being a basketball player. Anything. You got to maximize your potential. Or the next young person is it coming along to take your spot. I seen it in nursing. I seen when this, this lady used to do three overtimes every week. The next week, do two overtime. She was averaging a other check. And then she started fucking up. You know what the job did? When she got older, she wasted all that time. They replaced her with somebody else. And all that money dried up. Don't somebody else getting it. But she had the opportunity, but she just blew it. She just started fucking up. I seen it with my own eyes. And she let go thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Easy money. And she regretted to this day. She regretted to this day, but it's too late. They, they replaced it because she got old. She wasted all the time. And other people was filling in for it. It, it just was a waste. So it just was a waste. And every a lot of people do it. It's, it's not just it's not just athletics. It's in life. Period. You gotta maximize your talent. You gotta put that work in. If you want, if you want things the average man don't have, then you gotta be do, do. You gotta be willing to put in the work and do the things that the average motherfucker just won't do. And Bronin Bronin didn't do that. He became a world champion, of course. Which is not easy. But his potential, he could have been one of the greats. This guy could have been one of the greats. He could have been mentioned with the Sugar Ray Leonard's. He could have been mentioned with the Hearns, the Haglers. And all those type of guys. He could have been up there with them niggas. Up in the upper echelon with Floyd Mayweather, with Floyd Mayweather and, and Manny Pacquiao. Like, he could have been mentioned in that breath. That's how talented this kid is, man. He could have been mentioned in that um and with the greats, man. That's all I got. See, this kid was special, man. The kid, Broner just Broner did not. Broner, if Broner would have max, maximized his full potential, he could have been great. He could have been great. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at greatness right now. This is greatness. Broner could have been great. He 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 had all the opportunity to all the opportunities, and he had the skill and the guard, blessed ability to surpass Floyd. He could have had way more knockouts and went way more titles if he just would have stayed at 130. In one, 135 and 140, he got the body size for it. He's short and he's slender built. That's all he had to do is keep his weight down. Keep his weight down to like 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 149, 150. And then drop weight. He could have been, he could have stayed in shape. And did all that, man. He probably just fucked up, man. But he still made his money and shit like that. Can't deny him. But he he did not reach his full he did not maximize his full potential. He could have been crazy.